everyone, Christine here from Anchor. In this video, I'm going to be going over glute bridges with you. This is one of our go-to exercises for glute activation. I'm going to give you a couple tips to help you really feel this in your glutes and not in your hamstrings or your lower back. Those are two places we want to avoid. We really just want this to be glute focused. The first tip is foot placement, where your feet are in relationship to your hips. Let me show you when I lay down. We don't want our feet too far forward. That's where we might feel our hamstrings. We also don't want our, our feet too close to our hips. You might get your lower back or even your quads there. Ideally, we're looking for heel underneath of your knee. Then you also would want to look at your, your width, the width of your feet. Some people, more narrow helps them engage in their glutes. Some people, a little bit wider. Kind of play around, feel what works best for you. The second tip is brace. We really want you to engage your core. If you're not engaging in your core, you might start to feel this in your lower back. So really think about pressing down into the floor, lower back presses down into the floor, and we really want to avoid overarching at the top. This is what that looks like. So pressing your lower back down into the floor, nice and braced as you come up to the top, nice and neutral here through the spine. We don't want that overarching in the lower back. My third tip is to slow down. Really focus on activating the muscle that you're trying to use, which is your glute. Take your time, breathe, brace, and try to get the most out of this exercise. Let me show you what the glute bridges should look like. Find a good stance for your feet. Lower back is pressing down, core is engaged. And then slowly and mindfully, squeeze the glutes lift to the top and come back down. Exhale as you lift. So hopefully those three tips help you get the most from your glute bridges. I want you to work on your foot placement, engaging in your core and slowing down. All of those three things combined should help you get the most from your glute bridges. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.